Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the status access violation error on Microsoft Edge. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to rename the Edge executable file. To do this open an instance of File Explorer, then navigate to this PC, open the C drive, afterwards make sure to double click on the program files x86 folder, then scroll down until you find and locate the Microsoft folder and double click on it, and make sure to expand the Edge folder, afterwards double click on the application folder, and lastly just locate the MS Edge executable, then right click on it and select the rename option. Now just name it Edge, then simply click on enter and then make sure to restart the Edge browser to check if the problem still persists. Moving on, you can also update your browser, so make sure to open an instance of the Edge browser, then click on the three dots in the top right corner and then hover over the settings and click on it. Now in here on the left pane you have to click on About Microsoft Edge which is located at the end of this list and then the Microsoft Edge browser will automatically search for updates and install them if found. Then you can just restart the Edge browser to check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to disable your JavaScript extensions. So make sure again to open a new instance of the Edge browser, then click on the three dots in the top right corner and select the extensions option. Now in here again click on manage extensions and if you have any extensions that work with JavaScript make sure to toggle them off and restart your browser. You can then check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to disable your Edge browser renderer code integrity. On your desktop, you have to locate your Edge shortcut, then right click on it, and then select the properties option. Now in here, in the target field, make sure to copy paste the following command that I posted in the description below and add it next to the path. Now the last thing you have to do is click on apply and ok to save the changes and then you can start an instance of the Edge browser and check if the problem still persists. And that's it, plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.